Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made your only begotten Son eternal High Priest, grant that those He has chosen as ministers and stewards of your mysteries may be found faithful in carrying out the ministry they have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, 
because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Look, answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, that I may not sleep in death, lest my enemy say, I have overcome him, lest my foes rejoice at my downfall. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Please stand. Our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, We ate and drank in your company, and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west, and from the north and the south, and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first, who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today begins with the question Posed to Jesus. It is a question about salvation. 
Lord, will only a few people be saved? Konti lang ba ang maliligtas, Panginoon? But Jesus did not directly answer the question because the person was asking the wrong question. Salvation is not about how many. Salvation is about how. Our concern should not be whether many or few will be saved. Our concern should primarily be that we will become worthy to enter heaven. Hindi na mahalaga kung marami o konti ang makakapasok sa langit. Ang mahalaga ay pagsikapan nating makapasok sa langit. Sometimes we think that in order to be saved, we have to be close to Jesus. That salvation is all about proximity to Jesus. That is why in the parable that Jesus narrated in our gospel today, He said, there will be people who will be staying outside, knocking at the door, and they will tell the Lord, we ate and drank in your company. You taught in our streets. We know you. We are associated with you. We are close. So open the door for us. But the Lord will answer, I do not know where you are from. Kitang kita po ito sa ating kultura, sa ating kulturang Pilipino, yung palakasan, kapag hihingi ng pabor, kumahanap tayo ng koneksyon para mapabilis ang hinihingi natin. Sasabihin natin, uy, magkababayan tayo. Yung magulang mo, kaibigan ko. Hindi tayo iba sa isa't isa. Kaya wag na kung ano-anong hihingin mong requirement sa akin. Padaliin mo na yung proseso kasi may koneksyon tayo. Malapit tayo. Close tayo sa isa't isa. But, Salvation is not about just being close to Jesus. It is not just about proximity. For even people who are close to Jesus, at the doors of heaven, the Lord will say, I do not know where you are from. If not proximity, then what will open the doors of heaven for us? Not proximity, but conformity to Jesus. This is what St. Paul also talks about in our first reading today. That those God has chosen, God has also conformed to the image of His Son. And so salvation is about being conformed to Christ, looking like Christ, having the image of Christ in us. Maging kamukha ni Jesus, hindi lamang sa physical na itsura, kundi magkaroon ng pag-iisip, pag-uugali, pakikitungo sa kapwa, at pagsasalita na katulad ni Jesus. Conformity to Jesus. Not only proximity, but conformity. Because proximity does not always mean conformity. Hindi ibig sabihin na malapit, nakakamukha na. In the same manner that praying every day, 
attending Mass every day, doing all religious practices, reading the Bible, praying all the novenas will make us close to Jesus. But the question is, do we allow these practices that bring us close to Jesus that we may become more like Him? Sa ating bang paglapit kay Jesus, lalo tayong nakakamuka ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, God wants to save all of us. God wants to be with us in heaven, to welcome all of us in heaven. But we have to do our part. Jesus tells us in our gospel, strive to enter through the narrow gate. God has made all things, all graces, and salvation available for us. Nasa atin ng lahat at ibinigay na ng Diyos ang lahat ng maari nating biyayang kailanganin para tayo maging karapat dapat sa kanyang kaharian. Nasa sa atin na ang pagsisikap na maki-cooperate sa biyayang ito ng Diyos. And what should we do? We should strive to be conformed to Christ. We should strive to look like Jesus. Maging kamukha ni Jesus, magkaroon ng anyo, ugali, at pagmamahal na katulad ni Jesus. The door to God's kingdom is narrow. And so, we have to have the shape of Jesus, the shape that enables us to enter through the narrow gate of God's kingdom. Please stand. We may never come to God's table relying on our own merits. We respond with faith to His invitation to all people to enter His kingdom. With that humility, let us offer our prayers. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of the Holy Church of God may come to the feast of the kingdom let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That governments of nations may respect religious freedom and allow peoples to hear Christ's invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may take our Christian obligations seriously and strive earnestly to enter by the narrow door that leads to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering in mind and body may accept their cross patiently. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord and Father of all peoples, make these, we make these prayers in faith, seeking to respond to the invitation of your Son, our only Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that their labors may constantly please you and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants, that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host this evening will be the priest formators and seminarians of St. Peter's College Seminary in San Pablo City in Laguna. Let us join them as we ask once again the intercession of Our Lady for healing, especially of our brothers and sisters who are ill, and for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Maria. 